Hello, my name's John. I work in the Kirby Engineering Test Laboratory uh, here at Kirby World Headquarters in Cleveland, Ohio. And we're going to talk to you about the Kirby Heritage 2. The unit was manufactured in 1984, and I'll go over some of the features that it had. Uh, one of the first features was a slimline nozzle with a brush roll performance indicator. The brush roll performance indicator operated by an electromagnetic force that had a magnet in the brush roll with a coil on the casting. And uh, when the brush roll was turning, it would illuminate the light there, and this way the consumer would know that their brush roll is spinning. Unlike the other units where they had the window in the front, this way the consumer could see while they were using the unit that the brush roll was turning. It also had the carpet height setting. So if they wanted to go to different carpet surfaces or different floor surfaces, they can set uh, the unit to that height. Um, it also had uh, the handle fork locking system where the consumer could lock the handle fork down and go under beds, furniture, and be able to access any debris under any furniture in the house. It also had a dark plastic large debris catch, so if you swept up a, a ring or a necklace or something, you'd be able to get it right back out without it going all the way into the bag. The disposable bag, or the, I'm sorry, the cloth bag incorporated a disposable bag, which made it a little bit easier for the consumers to uh, take the debris out of the bag, and then they would just replace the disposable bag and then be all set to run. It again had the rear switch in the back, it had uniform wheels, all the way, uniform size wheels all the way around. And uh, we'll go ahead and fire it up so you can hear it run. And that is the Kirby Heritage 2.